from all the things that there is to celebrate. Let's pour something out for Mindy Collings, self-insert, miscare, I mean, still mistake, absolute waste of time that is Velma, the HBO Max series, Max series that was uh, streamed over two seasons long with a Halloween special that aired over the continuation over in the series and then that got canceled after repeat repetitive negative reviews absolute critical storming and of course my first season long streaming session over all the episodes of season one I did not do season two closed off on that after two seasons it was canceled going over majority of the season but they don't go over the reasons why over why Warner Bro uh Warner Brothers like cut it off over you know critical bombing because usually over the negative streams of the ha consummate hate watch that I also provided kind of uh pushed over pushed over the acceptance of a season two over the negative attention of it being critically bad. And then after people were already waved in droves because they already know the standard of the show kind of fell off a cliff in season two viewership wise. If all they were going to do is just negatively bomb it knowing how bad it was. And they even, they were trying to, and I, I am the, I am DB is trying to excuse it over the past two seasons. Mindy and Charlie have created an incredibly fun and fresh world within the iconic Who Did It franchise. Max, in the statement, while we won't be moving forward on with another season of the series, we thank them for compelling and coming-of-age storytelling. Your show was absolute shit for the concept that it had, utilizing a property for uh, the disinteresting self-insert that is Mindy Calling it itself. And both of you idiots are responsible for us shit canning another uh, show over an iconic property. You made us lose money. But good work, though. Like, honestly. And if anybody can really help us understand, it would be majority of the consumers or the fans that are so enveloped with the product over decades of reviews, knowing you had at least... Uh, Christian Wu and Glenn Wol Wilton. That Greg Wilton that actually played, I think he played a live action Fred uh, in the original, uh, you know, live action films. Did a good job, even though it was a complete bastardization and a 180 over his character, being the leader of the, of the, you know, of this mystery gang, setting up over the traps to try to stop the hoax of certain. Mythological characters, ghosts, people trying to run amok, trying to get a cash grab or do something for their own personal gain. And turn them into an absolute wuss. Prep. Tiny dick that was repeated over the entire series. Waste of space. Norville. That was just shaggy, but they just changed it over. Sam Richardson had that absolute shite casting simp weirdo. With none of the likable charm over than his muck banging streaming service, so they can at least insulate that there was some modernization. And they had D Daphne, that was half Asian and uh, that was Asian and ginger, that was d adopted by a dyke uh, detective uh, duo. Like, it just felt like they wanted to self, uh, you know, self inflict diversity with no reasoning than they can and not have it any, uh, have it any, you know, interest over in the story except expediting why they're here. And it just felt so forced. It never felt like anybody had an organic relationship at all except that the part that they can. I, I look, if you guys like the Velma show, more power to you. I'm the last person to come around and have uh, having his their own tastes, niches. But whenever I say a show is garbage, I'm going to go over the if, hands, and buts, the reasons why, the setting, the the audio, the plot, 
that's the whole point of a review. And whether you like it or not, it's supposed to actually put over my, you know, opinion, how I feel about the show. So you take it with a grain of salt. That obviously none of the Velma fans that exist will have. Because <laughs> it only lasts two seasons. <laughs> oh my god. This is somehow even a better success. Because at least it got financially backed for a sequel. And a special. That's more of a lifespan than the Joker 2 film. That even had a lesser... That had a lesser big uh, boom on the box office than even the Morbius film. He telling me Madam Webb is more profitable? <laughs> like, come on, fam. But besides that, God bless us all. It's about damn time. We, we all won in this one. Velma 2 is... Velma, the series, is dead... Mindy Calling ever have another bullshit animated series because, of course, peop because you're not interesting enough to compensate for your own property, so you have to rag over your uh rag over in a self-established property like Scooby Doo, like Hakim Phoenix, uh, like the director for Joker is just trying to to push over push over a single-minded narrative. Just for what looks like it, it should be its own movie instead of actually making a fucking Joker movie. I'm just saying, I did not need to see two hour uh, musical for something that's going to be forgettable in just half the time, bro. You're better off just listening to the Music Meister from the Brave and the Bold series, just to be honest with you. Uh, tell me how you guys feel down in the set, uh, down in the comment section below. Do you feel like Velma deserve it? No, it didn't deserve another chance. How you, uh... You guys have a great rest of the weekend. That's it for me here on the DST Show.